Let me explain why I think it makes sense to vote for this omnibus bill. First, I'm convinced that this will cost less money than if we kick the can down the road until next year. The House Republicans say that they want to craft a budget, but they haven't yet been able to select a speaker. And I'm not sure they're going to be able to take on the budget for this year as well as the next year at the same time. And by the way, even if they could take on those two things at the same time, it would need Democrats in the Senate to pass it. And so in the final analysis, I'm convinced that if we don't pass this omnibus, we're going to see a deal that costs more money. So this omnibus will cost less than if we don't pass it. And by the way, the omnibus of $1.7 trillion is about one-third of government spending. It's not the whole government spending. It's one-third. Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, entitlements are two-thirds. And it's the two-thirds of federal spending that's adding to our deficit and debt. Now, second, there's another reason I think it makes sense to vote for this omnibus. And that is I agree with a lot of the things that are in it. Military spending is going to go up by 9.5%. I agree with that because of Russia and China's aggression and because of our depleted and decaying Navy, Air Force, and ground-based nuclear deterrent. And because we've fallen behind Russia and China in technologies like hypersonics. The domestic spending in the bill grows at 5%, which is less than inflation. Now, a lot of things in the bill I don't like. There are always things in a that a Republican is not going to like in a bill that has to be agreed to by both parties. We get things we like, they get things they like. Here's some of the things I like. I like the Electoral Count Act to prevent any further effort to overthrow a presidential election. I don't want Kamala Harris choosing the next president. I agree with $23 million going for Central Utah water projects. One billion nationwide goes for wildfire management. Preserving $80 million for Utah hospitals and retaining support for our rural hospitals is something I also like. $500 million for PILT. Funding for Hill Air Force Base, its F-35 program, and its Minuteman Missile Replacement Program. The Bonneville Shoreline Act. The Colorado River Co Recovery Act. $385 million for children hospitals, medical education. $90 million for Utah State University Research Project. Now, that's just a partial list. And as you probably know, I've been either an author or negotiator on, uh, on most of those. So, in total, my opinion is this bill is better than what we get if we vote against it. It'll be less expensive, I believe, and it does a lot more that I agree with than what I disagree with.